We're at Lawrence Lane. I'm here with my girls. Woo! We on real talk, real action, y'all. We keep it real. We talk about, we have deep conversations, but then we also take it to the streets and have fun sometimes. So the next show, you just want to come with us. We want you to hang with us, have a fun with us. But also, we talk about real life history. Hello, everybody. My name is Calandrian Perry. Well, my nickname is actually Candy. You'll hear everybody refer to me as Candy. I am a registered nurse. Um, I've been a registered nurse for 20 years now. Um, I am married to Henry Perry Jr. And we've been married for 20 years. We have a set of twin boys who are 17 now. Um, I have been on the front line during this pandemic and I am absolutely thrilled to be here and very excited to share with everybody all of the natural journeys that everyone is able to um, take part in. Hello, my name is Cynthia Smith. I'm author of When He Cheated and I Forgave. I'm a board certified Christian counselor and I'm also a coach trainer. I am married. I've been with my husband for 27 years. I have three biological children and then I have three children outside of our marriage, which if you purchase my book, When He Cheated and I Forgave, you'll get a taste of it. Um, it's available on Amazon. Hi, my name is Quebecca Canellis. I am a hairstylist of 25 years. I'm also a health and nutritional coach. The name of my um, hair business is Q-Style. And I also have a hairline, which we have natural products and also products for natural and chemical treated hair. I like to, my hobbies are helping and making people feel beautiful and feel good about themselves. Hi, my name is Kiana Preston and I am a mom of three. I've been married for 20 years. I'm a process improvement specialist and a project manager in the IT department for an oil and gas company. And I'm here today to support all of the natural products and wonderful uh, black owned businesses. And I'm just here to be with my girls and hang out today. Now we're about to talk and have some real talk about our health, because it's so important right now, especially during this pandemic we coming out of, I'm claiming that. Uh, we want to talk about how important it is to stay healthy. It's important to make sure that you definitely want to make sure you get your multivitamin every day, vitamin C, stay vitamin C up y'all. And make sure it definitely, like your water is good to make sure that your system stays hydrated. Oftentimes we don't even think about the skin, but the skin is another entry point for bacteria, viruses, and fungi. And we have our mask covered, but do you have your skin covered? You know, that's the question. And you want to make sure you moisturized, you sealed up where well, you could use Jehovah oil, coconut oil, uh, shea, something just to make sure that your skin is sealed. Cause that if you scratch your skin and a lot of times people, we have customers who have eczema and they'll, they irritate their skin and then their immune system actually reacts to the irritation cause it lets bacteria and fungi and viruses into their skin. So we want to make sure that we continue to stay healthy. And that's what our business is about is about promoting, not only just products and services, but making everybody aware of what's out there and how do you protect yourself. Cynthia, you want to talk about your book? Okay, in the beginning of the book, we talk about how, I talk about how I met him. Um, I talk about how um, infidelity, well, cheating happened, we weren't married yet. And then I talk about us getting married and infidel infidelity happening again. And then I talk about fighting depression, fighting suicidal thoughts, uh, just different situations that uh, so many of us that have um, been cheated on have experienced. So it's just fighting to get back up. And then I even talk about, because I uh, do Muay Thai now, I do boxing, so that empowers me now in the present time. Okay, you said that you wasn't married mm -hmm. and then y'all got married. Did you find out about the kids before you got married or after you was married? Um, in the first part, I found out we were dating. We were dating maybe two years in and I found out, and you're gonna laugh, it, it, oh, no. it's, it's, it's the way I found out. I have a relationship with God, so I prayed and he revealed to me that this other woman was pregnant. So I don't want to give away too much, but I got into the, um, I got into the, I, I traveled, I went into West Virginia 
and I called my uh, boyfriend at the time and I was like God just told me in a dream that this young lady is pregnant you know and his response was letting me know like yeah I just found out today too that was the call that I received wow. so I found out before I got married and then um, 11 years later I got married and engaged and forgave at that time just to a month later find out that someone else was pregnant not the same woman but someone else did that answer your question mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember everything <laughs> That's good. so I have two burning questions okay the first question is what motivated you to want to write your book and tell your story mm. I fought this book is I've been pre I've been pregnant with this book forever and um, I fought with God because I was like really I got to relive this because it took me a long time to write this book because I had to reopen some wounds that I thought was healed I thought was okay was gone but he had me examine myself and it's not about me so I got healing through writing this book, but I know that there are other women out there or men out there that need this type of healing that I was embarrassed to talk about me going through this. But when I found out and speaking to different people, it's like, wow, the girl next to me was going through the same thing I was going through. So that's what this is about is healing and helping others get through and let you know you can make it because some of us commit suicide over this stuff and just letting you know we got this. We can make it. God is with us. He hasn't forgotten us. Yes. So yes, that's good. my next question and that I, I was wondering about that, but then that leads into you are very open in this book mm -hmm. and you have kids. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, um, did it ever like cross your mind when I publish this book? Mm -hmm. They may read it one day. I hope. <laughs> and ask me questions because um, in mm -hmm. the you know in the old time those types of things when that go on in your relationship and yeah you don't say anything you kind of keep that quiet. It's not something you express or tell your kids or your mom or your dad. It's it's kind of a new. You couldn't hide here. this in in my kids' life. They. Uh, they have three siblings. They have two siblings that mm. came from the cheating. So there was no way to hide it. They need to know what happened. So they've known through their lives. My oldest son has read this book, as a matter of fact. And so it's no, there's no secrets. I mean, that was in the old. That was, we come in anew, and, and they need to know what happened in our lives. So no shame in ministry. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> awesome. My right. question is, like, how do you interact with the other kids? I mean, I know that, you know, it's at some point it's probably rough, mm -hmm. but you know, you know, they're still a part of, you know, your husband, so you have to love that part. Mm -hmm. So how do you, do y'all have a relationship? Baby girl was the first one. She uh, came in the early on dating relationship. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately today we do not have a relationship with her, her mother and you know, there's different situations that happen and the relationship was cut off by mom. Um, in the beginning, we did have a relationship. She was uh, actually in my bridal party, baby girl. So, but things happen and we just pray about it and eventually got to bring that around. Baby boy happened after I got married a month. And um, in the beginning, we did not have a relationship. I, could, I was rejecting the whole situation, but um, we have a relationship today I, where you were asking, we don't hide from our children, so they know all of my children have a relationship with their brother. Uh, my youngest son is three months or four months younger than his brother. They FaceTime, they talk, they're teenage boys, so there is a relationship with, it, with baby boy. That's really good. Uh, my question, I have a question for you, mm -hmm. is uh, I read when you found out your reaction, how <laughs> mad you were. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that a little bit and kind of relive that? And how did you get to the point of then letting it go and healing from it to be able to even speak about it? I don't know if y'all watch X-Men, but I watch X-Men. So I don't know if you guys know Phoenix, but that's where the rage came. I was a whole different person. As you read in my book, I went down, I came up, I'm swinging, I'm fighting, I'm beating, I'm giving him every blow because I wanted him to feel what he just hit me with. Because even though it was uh, words that he gave me, he just knocked the, the living 
life, life out of me. <laughs> yeah, so um, literally, so I dropped. But I came back up like a beast and I just wailed out. Not that I condone violence, but that's, that was my reality. That was my reaction. Um, it's a process. Healing does not happen overnight. And I don't want anyone to believe that it, it was something that I just clicked. I forgive you, it's over. No, it's a, da it's a process, it's a daily process because we have what is called triggers. So if something triggers that mind and gets me to going, um, yeah, I, can, I, I have been, there's a portion in my book where I talk about I was very temperamental. One minute I'm laying in the bed with him and some dream or something hit me and I'm punching him in the back of the head and I'm fighting him and then the next minute I'm like, oh, I need you to hold me, I need you to make love to me, I need you to, to heal that and mend what you broke. And I wasn't looking for God, um, God, God to heal me. I was looking for little God, my husband to heal me. And that took me a long time, which also you will read in my book about the prison. I, I came trapped into a prison. So I took decade, like a decade or more to heal. And I'm, I'm still in the process. You know, I'm in the, I love my husband. I forgive my husband. We're doing very well, but it's a healing process. and and. And I thank God for him because um, I could be a, I could be a, uh, <laughs> I could be something else. But the process is good, and we're healing, and we're moving forward. Yes. Okay, I have another question. Mm -hmm. What was your husband's reaction when you told him that you were going to write a book about this <laughs> subject? You know, he embraced it because my husband, yeah, my husband is a musician. So he actually released, I think it was 2002, 2000, I mean 2009, I'm sorry, I'm off my dates. Uh, he released a CD called, um, I'm losing my thought, The Healing. And um, he, he talked about when I prayed, he wrote a song for me, when I pray, if I pray. So in there, that was him in his healing process. So he released the CD and he understood this book was my healing process because the CD that he released, everybody had access to. So he already had told his side of the story and was healing in that side of it. So he embraced, he embraces this. He actually is the one that wrote my foreword in my book. So he embraces this. He promotes me uh, on social media everywhere. He's actually here today supporting me. So he, he supports. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he supports. Do you regret it? Is there ever a time where you think like, I wish I hadn't done this? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, there really was because I had lost, um, I lost some years. I lost a lot of years. I lost, um, in the process, I lost being the best wife I could be. I lost being the best mother I could be. Um, and I'm th I was thinking, you know, if he, if I would have, ended it maybe with baby girl he would have got himself together and maybe if he got you know got right because he knew that the consequence was me leaving but I never left I never went nowhere even though we break up what you will read in here we break up but we were never really broken up I had never uh, cut ties so I tell young ones today don't don't waste your life on no person. And I, I'm not talking about just female, male too. Don't waste your life on someone else. Get what you got, what God has for you. And if that person is meant for you and you see change in him and God bring that back around to you, then that's one thing, but. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you so much, Cynthia. When He Cheated and I Forgave, get your copy on Amazon. It's a good book, it's a good book. I mean, if y'all wanna read about some tea, this is the book, for real. <laughs> We're just so glad you were able to be with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye.